Oh, Kazar, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Fallout Camps. Now, funnily enough, this episode's done, dusted, and it's like way before Monday. But I really like doing these live. So you're going to get another live one, and it's just because I like doing them. But we're kicking it off with uh, Rilwes. Rilwes? I want to say Rilwes or Rilwes. I don't know, but it's Rilwes' camp. We'll call it Rilwes. And it's... An interesting one. I don't know if the person ran out of resources building it or they were going for some sort of specific thing because the walls are mitch, mit, mismatched all over the place. There we go. So we've got like brick wood and then we've got this barn wood, which is kind of weird. Uh, at least it has a roof. It is a flat roof. It could have been a textured roof with a couple of angles. And they did have an open water purifier, which gets them... Uh, 0.5 of a point, must remember to write them down from now on. But I like the intro kind of balcony area. This is a backdrop, by the way. Look at that. I don't know what it is. It looks like some sort of gear mechanism, but it's absolutely huge and beautiful. It's quite an interesting place to actually design a camp. However, this was kind of pointless. I don't know if it was actually leading to a decorated pool, I can understand. Um, but yeah, it was kind of a mismatch on that one. However, the rest of it was actually really nice. So the design of it uh, is going to get a six. It's only it's a, it's an odd shaped camp. It's got a flat roof and it's mismatched all over the spot. But I think for the position it was in, the nice intro area, um, it gives it a nice six. However, the interior, cocky Nora, this place was weird. That I think that's probably the best way to say it. Obviously, it's got this Halloween theme to it. Halloween's coming up in three days, two days, whatever. And, you know, everyone's going Halloween mad. By the way, I love the fact that you use the drums to cast shadows on the walls. That's beautiful. Absolutely love it. The, um, the ones in there, the skulls in that thing, was pretty creepy. And this Wendigo coming out of the mirror. Absolutely beautiful. It's like when people put the... Uh, dog picture with the bear to make it look like it has a snarl and stuff or whatever I can't remember what they do but that is really good the layout is really nice and even though it's compact and a little bit cramped it's really nice so it gets it gets an 8 for its awesome fucking design and theme and interior and all that kind of stuff now of course we must move on to prices and I don't know why I was looking at that. Oh, yeah, because I was trying to sort it out to Val. I like having the value as the thing because it makes it easy to sort through that kind of stuff. Um, prices were a little bit steep. Like, I don't understand why some of these things are... Especially the clothing. I don't understand. The armor, I'm fine with. Some of the clothing didn't really make sense. You can find it really easy. Do, do people, like market these things at these prices because people don't know where to find them because i because i find stuff all the time i mean maybe people are just pvp and i don't know um but weapon prices fine uh fine i'm never gonna go against or up again i'm never gonna go up against weapon prices ever this is i'm just gonna leave them i'm gonna stop bothering with them um but some of the stuff here so a mounted bloat for i had i don't know they seem a little bit steep to me. Now, people have, you know, obviously tried to say, oh, well, who are you for saying, you know, what prices and things should be? Um, I'm the fucking postman that goes around the place fucking dealing with this shit, so suck my extra delivery dick. Uh, but I, I just think some of these prices aren't quite nice. Now, some of them have been marketed down hilariously, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, and obviously, some people do like 111 or 666 or 333 for a specific reason. I don't I don't know why. Um, I also don't know why people do like 399. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, for the prices, I'm going to give it a 6 as well. It's It was just a weird thing. I felt like some of them were a little bit overpriced. Uh, the magazines, definitely. Toxic Goo, I don't know what you do with Toxic Goo, so I'm going to leave that one. Uh, and Treasure Maps, like Treasure Maps... 100 max, unless they're like super duper hard to find, then maybe 150. Magazines 100 and below, same with bobbleheads. Uh, so we've got a, a 6, 8 and a 6. It gets a thumbs up. It's a 7.5 because of the uh, water purifier. I need to adjust my sitting position. Hopefully I don't make too much noise. But this is the camp we're moving on to now. Um, This one was kind of... Blah. It's, it's 
Goth Punk Boy 89. I managed to get that out in time, thank God. Uh, so this is your run-of-the-mill uh, rectangle. Now you're probably thinking, eh, it's a square. No, it's actually a 3x4, so it's a rectangle. Uh, and he's gone for the easy access windows. Now, I do approve of the easy access windows. Sometimes it does make it nice to be able to get inside if people have locked doors. I know that's technically breaking and entering. Um, however, he has two open water purifiers gaining him one point. And I do like the fact that, you know, he's down here by the Brahmin. Uh, it's always nice to have something to, you know, give you a bit of... I'm pretty sure that Brahmin just, like, straight up died as well. But yeah, it, it's nice to have things around to interact with, talk to, all that kind of shit. And the little gardening was uh, was kind of nice. But the, the design's house is basically just a rectangle with a flat roof. Uh, so it's it's getting a 6. It, it should technically get a 5, but it's getting a 6. However, the, the layout in the interior... It's kind of sparse. It's kind of barren. And it's kind of just thrown about all willy-nilly. Now, some of the things... Like, why do people... I, I understand why people put power generators inside. It's to stop them being shot. But it doesn't look like you need 100 power. It doesn't look like you need close to 100 power. And the roof is floor, not a roof. Which is kind of weird. I, I think it just came down to the fact that the interior was kind of sparse and barren. And I don't think a lot of thought was put into it. Um, so the layout for that one's going to get a 6 as well. It's uh, it's just kind of... It's kind of meh. It's not a... So, you know, it doesn't get a five and below. It's just kind of a meh. So, you know, it's just kind of round. Okay, we'll, we'll go with that. However, the prices... Uh, the prices seemed... Oh, there's a cow shopping. Excuse me, almighty Brahmin. Find anything good? Let me check. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, so the prices in this were pretty decent. So, do you know what? I think I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a six. It's a six all round. It's a six, six, six. It's the number of the beast. Um... Plus the one makes it a seven. It really it should have been five 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 one. I was being generous, so you know technically it's a seven, but it's a it's an uneven seven. So you're getting a mm, from me. You're getting a mm, like a fifty fifty. However, this one was the Mac Daddy. This one was like kapow. I turned up, saw this thing. I was like, so yeah. This is um Mintikora. I want to say that's the way you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I killed that. Uh, but this is, I don't, I don't know the better, a castle, a fort, a secret base. Well, it's not that secret because it's pretty big. Yeah, uh, but it's very nice. It does, it's one of the, well, it's actually one of the only bases that I've seen, apart from this annoying little floating bit right here. It's one of the bases that I've seen actually incorporates the angled wall Glitch, I guess you could call it, you know, where you position your floor panels and then you, you know, you build on that, remove your floor panels, all that kind of stuff. It's the only one that I've seen do this in a long time, like a long time. Uh, and it's nice to see that there's a texture to it as well. There's different woods giving it a different feel. Uh, the interior is done in, a, in kind of a, just a big open space kind of way. And I'm thinking the roofs are there for a reason. I can't remember why those roofs have to be there. I think they have to be there for a reason. Or it's just there for the lights. Uh, but there they are. And obviously, you know, if you're there, I will say hello to you. But the design of this thing is, is fucking immense. So the di the design gets, gets a 9. Now, that might seem a little bit generous. And it is. And the reason it's generous, it would have got an 8. But I'm giving it a 9 because the person has gone through the effort, the painstaking effort of... Um, angling walls and it trust me angling walls and getting them right is not easy it's a pain in the ass uh plus those three open water if you're as water purifiers giving you a 1.5 uh technically you're on a 10 already however the layout is kind of sparse it's kind of barren it's just there really for you know fun i guess it, it, it i guess it's supposed to be a place to buy stuff. Obviously, you know, the the room set up on either side for the purifier in the bedroom. That was kind of nice. But the layout itself is going to get an 8. Uh, so we can get on to prices while we're going through it. This seemed like a high-level vendor. A person that sold mainly high-level things to high-level players. However, 
they did mark their comics at pretty good prices. Everything in there, I'm pretty sure, is a 69 giggity giggity goo, uh, apart from the 37 and the 10. So it was nice to see someone marketing them down uh, instead of marketing them over. Uh, I absolutely love this base. The, pri the prices, though, the prices are a little bit wanting. Um, flux, I understand why people put the flux at high price. It's really annoying to make flux. I no longer make flux. I try to buy cheap flux. Um, I know the prices for ammo, pretty decent. I do like the prices. So do you know what? Apart from some of the few things that uh, I guess are l only a tad, tad bit over, uh, the I'm giving it. Ooh, I'm going to give it an eight. I'm going to give it an eight for that. So a nine and eight and an eight. The two eights bring it down to an eight plus the one point five, gives it a nine point five, making it our grand total winner for today, and you win my admiration and respect which is not something i give out lightly but there we are ladies and gentlemen that was an absolute beautiful camp i i adore the fact that people are now doing the angled walls uh yeah, i wish more people would do it that, that's the only problem i have with the angled walls they're a pain in the ass to do and people don't do them but i hope you have enjoyed this episode of camps i know i have it was a lot of fun going around even graham enjoyed it who had glitched and was just frozen here for like half an hour and you couldn't trade with him or interact or anything but there we go uh don't forget this wednesday is the uh fallout build challenge submissions so if you have not submitted your design you have two days to get it in i will accept uh the deadline of, of wednesday but apart from that ladies and gentlemen you know the drill like share and subscribe and until the next time stay awesome